So good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jade Jiang from UTS. So I'm gonna talk about the potential nutrient recovery and remo removal and recovery from a hybrid membrane bioreactor uh, and, ma uh, and uh, membrane, uh, membrane capacitive deionization systems. So here's a schematic. Uh, Uh, anyway, the first one, that's a schematic diagram of the hybrid and MCDI setup and the, the operation process. So in the sulfur urine was initially stabilized through membrane bioreactors to convert a molotyl ammonia into a stable, more stable form like nitrate and ammonia. Then after that, we fit an um, MBR permit uh, to the uh, membrane capacity deionization systems. Uh, on the, it's going to go like seven continuous uh, absorption and desorption batch mode to produce um, like um, the concentrated urine fertilizers. So the first, the one, uh, the, the image uh, on, the, on the left bottom, that's uh, TDS variations in the treated and uh, concentrated solutions on the uh, three different uh, uh, voltage uh, among seven constitutive cycles. So as you can see, like the high voltage applied can resulted in, uh, resulted in a better TDS removal performance. And here, that's a, uh, these two other uh, uh, figures shows uh, ion removal and recovery efficiencies. So as similar to the TDS uh, removal performance, like we noticed like um, the low voltage resulted in a lower removal and recovery efficiencies of both cations and ions. And um, the performance can be significantly improved as you increase, um, uh, like after you apply the high uh, voltage and the high uh, reverse voltage on the absorption and desorption process. So here's the energy consumptions for removal and recovery of ammonia and nitride. Uh, we can see the energy demand for removal of ammonia was between 3 to 11.25 kilowatt hours per kilogram of ammonia. And uh, that energy consumption was between 4 to 15 uh, kilowatt hours per kilogram of the nitrate. So the energy required for um, absorption and desorption can even further reduce uh, by harvesting the energy during the desorption stage. Then in conclusion, this hybrid MBR MCDI system can effectively remove and remove recovery nutrient uh, and produce the uh, urine-based fertilizer. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.